फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय वर्क प्लेस फॉर हैंड्स ऑन फेको एंड एस ट्रेनिंग लेट अस ऑब्जर्व दिस टोटली अनएडिटेड फेको सर्जरी इन दिस केस वी विल सी एंटीरियर इंसर्शन ऑफ जोन्यूल दिस इज द मेन इंसर्शन विद अ 2.8 मिलीमीटर स्टील केराटोम विद द केराटोम इटसेल्फ आई एम मेकिंग अ साइड पोर्ट ऑन द राइट साइड एज वेल एज अ साइड पोर्ट ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड इफ वी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड ऑन थर्ड और half of the keratome we get adequate sized side ports and now uh, uh this is a bit of phenocane the anterior chamber is then uh, filled up with an air bubble we should have a single air bubble otherwise the dye comes to cornea so we have got a single air bubble and now tripen blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule if we apply the dye tripen blue dye underneath an air bubble staining is very fast very quick we don't have to wait for one minute we just continue the next step and the staining is done excess dye is then washed out with a 23g semco and in this case we can clearly see the anterior insertion of jonule the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose here goes the methyl cellulose and we can see that the jonule has been stained by the tripen blue dye the jonule has been stained more and densely more intensely than the capsule now i have taken the ureter forceps and this is the anterior insertion i am detaching its attachment so these are four places this is onward place and this is another place so we got six places where there was anterior insertion of jonule and now i start doing the rexis even if we don't detach the anterior insertion of jonule uh, you can we can start rexis it just gets torn off but it is better that we uh, detach its attachment on the anterior capsule otherwise if we just tear it off the attraction is on the you know on the ciliary body also so the more good way is to detach its anterior insertion mm, a little bit of hydro dissection has been done because uh this rexis was done at on go and now the hand piece is introduced the hand piece goes with its bevel down and some superficial lens matter is removed and we see a very hard nucleus let us see how we can manage this nucleus the fecal needle was introduced bevel down now it has hand piece has been turned to make the bevel up and here goes the tip inside the substance of the nucleus it goes forward and here it is we have got a very nice crack come to the other side make a deep sculpt and then turn the hand piece to hold one hemineucleus and then separate the other one so we have got two free hemineuclei and now the hand piece the fecunidyl goes through this hemineucleus and we have been able to crack this into one um, and to two pieces now the bigger piece is again cracked 
this is the endonucleus and I'm just separating the nucleus so this is a very hard nucleus leathery and still we have been able to divide the nucleus into fragments by the submarine chop technique So we have managed almost on hemineucleus and now we come to the we come to the other hemineucleus. Air bubbles should be removed, otherwise it causes a lot of problems in visibility. At this time I feel that the wound can be enlarged a bit for uh, so that the wound there is some more leakage through the wound and the wound remains cool and there is no wound burn. And now we go again, hold the nuclear part of the lens matter and I got this free fragment. very nicely managed and this is so gradually we manage the nucleus the epinuclear part is detached from the nuclear part and the epinucleus acts as a contact lens between the you know posterior capsule and the cataract and protection of the posterior capsule is much better. This is the last piece of nucleus. At this time, we go to stereocoaxial illumination. You can see the posterior capsule very nicely. the nucleus has been nicely managed and there is hardly any cortex left almost no cortex inject some visco and going to implant a single piece lens in the back So this is a single piece monofocal hydrophilic intraocular lens. The lens is dialed with two instruments. This bimanual dial dialing is very good. And now is the time to clean the visco that I have used for implantation of the intraocular lens. I go behind the lens, come in front to irrigation and aspiration. At this time I am removing some lens fibers also and I find that there is a lot of lens fibers right there. I take help of the side ports and remove these cortex. I thought there is hardly any cortex, but a lot of cortex was left under the iris. We can see that the rexis is nicely overlapping the optic of the intraocular lens and this is very good. It, co it helps in uh, centration of the intraocular lens. The lens does not tilt if it is overlapped by the anterior capsular rim or around.
So, visco has been cleaned and now uh, this is a little bit of moxifloxacin and then the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. In this case, we have seen anterior insertion of joinule and my thinking is we should detach the uh, its anterior insertion rather than uh, starting rexis and tearing it off. Uh, so, this is a unique way of managing anterior insertion of joinule. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills and it will help you in managing cases where there is anterior insertion of joinule.